Hello folks all over the world, yes, I'm back here. Anyone who has seen all 6 episodes will ask, hey, what else do you have to tell us about Javier? Honestly nothing new. But you should know that every day I receive dozens of comments on users who say, I believe that Javier is telling the truth, the evidence you provide does not disprove anything, he is really in 2027, and comments, like, wow, finally someone talks about it. Therefore, at the request of two fans of this series, part 7 of the investigation on the user of the social network TikTok with the name Unico Sober Viviente is now aired. Let's start immediately from the news published in part 5 of this investigation, I mean all the information about the television series around this TikTok channel where someone commented that it is simply newspapers or fake news. Okay, this is the official television site that will show how you can read a first season consisting of 10 episodes ranging from 30 to 50 minutes, the genre is thriller, science fiction adventure subgenre. I repeat, science fiction. I read the description. The series is based on the phenomenon Unico Sobre Viviente, born on TikTok and tells the story of Javier, a young man who wakes up in a hospital in Valencia to find out, there is no one. Not in the building, nor the neighborhood, the whole city is empty, desperate, he begins to roam the streets in the search of answers for the massive disappearance, with hope of finding someone else, soon, he will begin to believe that he has traveled in time and is in 2027, he will come to realize that he is not alone in the world, there are two other only survivors. The problem is one is in Mexico and the other in Brazil, from there the real adventure begins. Sorry for the spoiler in the description, I just hope that the other survivor in Mexico is not El Chico del Futuro. And surely you know why. Having made this important premise, we will now move on to the usual analysis of the videos broadcast in the last period on the TikTok channel. I remind you that we are not haters, this investigation is useful for analyzing the flaws or mistakes made during the videos, which do not detract from the beauty of this project, but certainly make it more human and fascinating. This channel is now known all over the world, just think that some of the oldest videos boast over 10 million views, many of which have an average of around 2 or 3 million. Starting with the first video of February 13, 2021, Javier and his channel today have 6.6 .6 million followers from all over the planet who write hundreds of comments every day, unfortunately half of which write, I believe you. Jokes aside, let's start with a summary of the investigation part 6, where we had analyzed the videos of Javier coming out of military bunkers while a large part of Spain was enjoying his holidays, some in a boat, some on the beach, and he filmed everything, regardless of mistakes in the shoot which he was doing. After the videos of the military bunkers, Javier shot some videos of a few seconds entering some shops in Valencia, or around the city inside buildings, or in places close to traffic by his TV crew, and also a video of a few seconds inside the train station, being careful not to film any human beings. Among the following videos, the first where he committed a gross error is certainly the one at the port of Valencia, let's see it together. Okay, I'll do some translation. I'm going to try to leave the country. I have managed to enter the port of Valencia. I'm going to find out how to get on this board. As you may have guessed without a shadow of a doubt, it is literally impossible for one man to set sail on a ferry of this size. There are landing operations such as the removal of the anchor lines at the port, the removal of the large submerged anchor that holds the ship and the operations of starting the engines which must be almost simultaneous to the removal of the lines and the anchor. But Javier continues to shoot videos inside the ferry. When dozens of comments such as, it is impossible that you can sail a ferry alone, arrive, then fortunately he decides to abandon the idea to make things more credible. I need help. I found the command bridge. I think it will be impossible to start it.
Yes Javier, it was certainly a bad idea, but in the rush to film this vehicle you forgot not to zoom in on the monitors of the ferry control room, thus revealing that you are in 2021 and it is October 3rd. After finding a small boat, Javier goes to Barcelona deciding to stay in one of the most luxurious hotels in the place, obviously in a presidential suite. And after flaunting the good life between hot tub and champagne, he decides to show the view of the street from his balcony in the middle of the night. Now watch out for the parked cars. Several users complain in the comments, why not film that road during the day, too easy at night when there is nobody around. In reality, a TV crew may request that a street be closed to film short takes. But without audio it is also easy to find a moment of the day like the early morning when no one passes, and in fact Javier is shooting this video. And as you can see now there is a red car parked that was not there at night, this is probably because as the video was very short, it was not necessary for the TV crew to request permits from the municipality to close the road. In doing so, however, these errors are made, which were also pointed out by some comments in the videos. Leaving aside some subsequent videos on the balcony, where Javier always shows very short clips shot inside some buildings, we see instead a video shot on the street in Barcelona in the evening. Did you see it? In the first sequential images of the video we see a person moving inside a window with the light on. And not only this. Above, another person can be seen moving around the dimly lit balcony. And despite these tests, there will always be someone who will comment, I believe that Javier is completely alone in 2027. Trust me, you will read it. Of one thing I am sure, if one day, someone will be trapped in some dimension managing to communicate it to us, for sure we will not see him so cheerful, nor so frequent in social networks. We will not see a parallel world as clean, nor as functional as ours. Surely it will be a tragedy, to survive. However, I would like to say that the story behind and all the published quantum physics formulas are truly extraordinary because they leave open the doubt given the amount of information that science does not yet know about the origin of humanity and the universe. In the latest video available today, Javier is seen walking down the stairs of a building, and someone or something closes a door downstairs very hard. Part 7 of our investigation ends here, I thank you for watching. Follow us on our social channels, and if you are new and like this content subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay updated on new videos. See you on Saturday with our usual top 3 ghosts episode. Good evening and obviously don't forget that, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe, don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.